Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to use browser extension, especially for the Odoo debugging tool. And in case you missed previous discussion about introduction about the Odoo JavaScript framework, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the playlist, you can see Odoo development playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases. And in case you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. Source code also available in the GitHub, make sure you can follow. And we have some different social media pages, make sure you can follow to get latest update. So let's back to our main topic, like how we can use some browsers extension for the Odoo development, right? If you remember in our last session, uh, especially for the debug mode, right? What is debug mode and how to use? In the header part, we can just uh, active the debug mode, right? Like let's say the one is for the simple debug mode. And let's say if you want to debug with the assets, you can just use here instead of the one, you can just use here assets, right? So after that, it will automatically active the debug mode. Or let's say if you don't know the header changes, right? So generally we can go to the settings under the general settings. This one, we can go to the bottom of the screen. You can see here developer tool and here you can see like this, right? And if I will click to this deactivate the developer mode and revisit here in the settings, right? You can see here the simple developer mode with the assets and with the test assets, right? If I will click here, you can see here assets comma and the test right like this it will automatically active but what about the inbuilt browser extensions also available for this debug mode right you can go to here like right now i'm using the mozilla so you can see here like add-ons and themes you can see like this and if i will go to here in the bottom of the screen and simple i will search here odoo you can see here there are a lot of uh, extensions available especially for the Odoo here you can use any of this right so this is the very famous this monkey icon right we can just add in our browser you can see like this right so right now we will not use that one but we can just use this too later on like we will discuss more about that Odoo terminal all right so here let me pin to the in the browser and now let's say if I will go to here right but let's say I will try to disable the debug mode right so now like there is a shortcut way you can just one click it will automatically active the debug mode and double click it will active the assets mode so you can see this monkey right and there is an eyes closed once you click single click it will automatically active the debug mode oops you can see here eyes is open that means the debug the simple debug mode is available you can see here debug equal to one if you click double time to this icon it's convert into the gorilla right and after that you can see the debug equal to assets so gorilla means assets the close eyes means like the debug mode is off and eyes is open it means the simple debug mode is activated same like here also if you are not using this one that's i will try to remove this extension you can also use this bug icon like this right so you can see the bug icon like here you can see right once you active the debug mode it will having here like one more icon the bug icon so same bug icon also available here and right now you can see this is in the disable mode right once you click one time you can see the icon also change and you can see here in the header part debug equal to one and if you click double time it's convert into the red color and that means it's a assets mode the debug mode is assets mode so like this way you can use such browsers extensions for your development all right basically this 
extensions help you to like uh, reduce your development time i mean like you don't need to write the code here or oh, let's say you don't want to you don't need to go to in the settings general settings and here to active the developer mode so that is the main benefit here in a one click you can active the simple mode and double click it will automatically active the assets mode right so in our upcoming sessions we will talking about such terminals right how you can use and uh, different Odoo tools I hope you understood these extensions and if you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session